tree. It's Sunday, it's Mother's Day, but neither of us are with our mothers. Um, I sent my mom some flowers on Friday, so they got sent to her work, and then I talked to her earlier. And what did you do for your mom? I made my sister go get her something. I'm not waiting for you. It's fine. What'd you get? Um, flowers and a necklace, I think. Pitched in for it. You what? Pitched in for it. You pitched in. Claire and I pitched in. I thought you said the B word. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, my mom went out to dinner or lunch, I guess, with my grandma, my dad, my brothers. And um, yeah, so we're thinking about them today. But we are headed to PetSmart. Um, Brinkley needs a new collar. So we thought we would take the dog. They haven't, it's been kind of like too hot to go to the dog park and then now it's like kind of gross out. We don't want to go. So we're going to take him walk around PetSmart. Um, here's Murphy and Brinkley right here. Heads out the window. Um, I'm thinking that we're going to get Brinkley one of those leather collars because that's what Murphy has. But maybe like a gray leather collar. I think they have those. I think it would look good. Um, so anyways, Nick is going to stop at the gun store and get some like gun stuff, you know, man stuff. And then we'll be at PetSmart and TJ Maxx is right by PetSmart, so you know. It's a gray leather collar, and then we got Murphy, um, the two Kong, what are they? Like rubber balls. He, these are literally his favorite balls that he has, and he's like obsessed with this green one we have, but the squeaker is out in it. Yeah. So we got two of them. We got a blue and a red one. And now I'm gonna go into TJ Maxx and look for some um, linen closet, like organization stuff, and Nick's gonna stay in the car with the dogs. With the stinky dogs, they kind of smell. But they did pretty good. That was Brinkley's first time Brinkley. in PetSmart, and she did really good. Hey, Brinkley. And Murphy did okay. He didn't. He didn't pee on anything. Good boy. So I just got done at TJ Maxx, and I ended up getting a lot of stuff. I got a big laundry basket to put in the linen closet and to put blankets in, um, and then I got like six organizer cube things. I got two glass like mason jars are really big though and i'm gonna put like cotton balls in them and then i got um nick some meal prep uh, containers. containers and then i got brinkley a toy so that was pretty successful tj maxx trip if i do say so myself and now we're gonna go to wendy's um i wanted a frosty really bad i actually wanted dairy queen but i didn't get the chance to tell nick before he was like nope we're leaving hopkinsville <laughs> but um yeah, I really want to do that video that it's like you order what the people in front of you had, but Nick is kind of like not about it for some reason. Why aren't you about it? Don't worry about it. Oh my god, Nick. So if you guys think that we should do that video, um, comment down below, please, and let me know because then it'll like force Nick to do it. I just think it'd be fun. I like the ones I've watched. I've 
like enjoyed. You just literally go to a place, you pick somewhere, and then you pull up to the drive-in after somebody and you say, I just want what the person in front of me had and whatever they get, you have to, you don't have to eat it, but like, you're gonna eat it if you're spending money on it, so, yeah. I have a medium chocolate frosty. And can I have a 10 piece nugget with ranch, please? Yes, sir. And can I get a. You drink all my Coke? Uh, two junior cheeseburgers with ketchup only on them. That's no problem, sir. Can I do anything else for you today? That's it. P902, my perfect survey at the window. So now that we're home, I've kind of started trying to organize this closet. All I've done is this right here. Um, this is the situation up there. We just have like so many blankets and I want to put them in this basket. But um, yeah, I bought two of these mason jars and honestly I don't know what to put in the second one. I just really liked it so I got it. Um, I did put the hand towels here just to make it look nicer. And we took out this bottom shelf. So I guess we'll see how it looks when it's done. I've kind of got some like Pinterest Pinterest inspo but um we just have so much stuff that I don't even you know how you have to like make a mess before you can like get it cleaned up that's kind of where we're at right now so let's see what Nick's doing what are you doing what Are you on the much the after I'm sure I could like organize it more but all the blankets and stuff are now in this laundry basket they're all clean though just to make it look nicer towels smaller towels and then all these are washcloths hand towels um, and then I have my extra candles over here um, I didn't really know what to do with this mason jar thing so I put some bath bombs in it and I thought I could just you know put some more in there this is like my stuff or like lotion so there's like nail polish lotion um dry shampoo just like stuff that we'll pro like we'll grab first i think and then over here there's like medicine stuff q-tips like um there's some soap in here toothpaste this is like shower stuff and then like sunscreen and razors just like random stuff up here we have an extra blanket that hasn't been used yet nick's um like shower caddy things a toy for murphy's birthday and just some extra sheets so that is what it's looking like you okay there so these are the balls that murphy's like obsessed with um sorry for the slobber but they are it doesn't say exactly what they are. Here, right here. Murphy has had the green one for like a year and he hasn't torn it up. They're called Kong Squeeze. And they're rubber balls. And they squeak. And he is like so gentle with them and they're like his favorite balls. So, yep. Now he has them all. And then Brinkley's collar. We ended up getting this gray. We got this gray like leather collar. And um, she might have to get a bigger size, but maybe not. We got medium. You think she'll need a bigger size? No. Well, she gets obese. Well, she's definitely going to be bigger than Murph, so. We had to cut his down, though, so, I mean, he probably could have gotten a smaller size. Don't get, on, get off the dishwasher, sneaker. Now what? Relaxation. So, it is... Can you even see it? Yeah. 515. Game of Thrones comes on at 8. So now we have some time to just chill out and wait for Game of Thrones. Yeah, do you think that the linen closet looks better? Oh, yeah, for sure. It was pretty bad before, huh? Uh, I only 
gonna say that it was terrible. So the everything that we got, it was pretty well priced from TJ Maxx. The laundry basket was like 25, and then it was a set of three of the little containers for 10 each. So to organize our closet, and that's all it cost. I mean, oh, and then the jars, they were like. I think one was $7.99, one was $5.99, which is like a really good price, I think, to organize our closet and like give us some like, get that stress off of us. Definitely worth it, I think. Um, but yeah. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. Yesterday, Nick hung up our little arch things above our bed. So now with the curtains and everything, it kind of makes it look like it's even. That curtain needs to be fixed, but Aria's up there. But I think that it makes it look really nice. And actually, you might even see that that's there before this vlog even comes out because we did a sit down video and that was in the background yesterday. So if you guys saw it, sorry. People might think it's weird, but look at you, Sans. And there's the brink and there's the stink. <laughs> My name's Nick. <laughs> Come here, Brinkley. All right, guys. Um, what do I say? <laughs> you, do you not watch my vlogs? I do watch your vlogs. I just so what do I say at the end? You put me on the spot. I forget. I'm camera shy. You want Brinkley to say it? All right, guys. <laughs> That's Brinkley's voice. Yeah. Just made Brinkley's boy. All right. Come here, Brinkley. Get I'm here. eating. Get up here. Come here. Come here, Brinkley. Brinkley. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, stinker. Get up here. So, Game of Thrones, um, <sighs> three-word episode five review. Mm-hmm. Review of this week's episode. Um... Upsetting. It's all coming to a wrap. People are oh. dying. <laughs> that. Nick, you literally can't say that. What? You what? can't say the things that happen. Why? Because people might not have the opportunity to watch. That's their fault. Anyway. Brinkley, what did you drink? This is Brinkley. Her ears are a little low on her head. <laughs> she looks a little <laughs> sad tongue. all the time. Put that tongue in your mouth. <laughs> Brinkley. Brinkley. Okay. All right, guys. That's gonna be it from from the fam minus Murphy. Oh no, he's coming. Murphy's coming. There he is. I can't hardly see him. So what do you say, Nick? Come on. Thanks for watching today's vlog, guys. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.